Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing your immediate future. So this is gonna be timeless. So obviously whenever you find this video, it is meant for you. We're gonna be seeing what's in your future, anything that wants to come out and advice, how to deal with this future situation and things like that. So let's get started with your reading. We have group number one with the clear quartz, group two with the clear crackle quartz, group three with the tourmalated quartz and group four with the smoky quartz. So please choose your group now and let's get started. So starting off with group number one with the clear quartz. All right, so we're gonna do things a little bit different. We're gonna start off with a tarot, which is something I don't normally do, but that's what we're gonna do. So we have this gorgeous clear quartz, lovely. It's in its raw form. So I feel like what you guys want at the moment is authenticity, you want something that's on your path, that's natural, that's something that is just authentic. You want some sort of authentic connection, some sort of authentic kind of opportunity that feels like it's really, really yours and not really anyone else's, which is a really beautiful message. So the main energy that you guys are dealing with right now is the Queen of Wands. That's a lovely energy. So obviously this is about passion, this is about you feeling in your energy, like feeling yourself. Like this is really full on kind of passionate, fiery energy so this could be you don't have to be a female to have this energy we all have feminine and masculine energy I love the fact that we have these gorgeous plants around her these gorgeous kind of floral energies and she's just kind of really in her element especially of all these colors like some people especially if they're the anxious type or there's somebody who wants to kind of blend in we wear a lot of colors that are very simple a lot of black a lot of white you know that sort of thing to kind of blend in obviously it depends on the person everyone's different but she's really standing out. She's really kind of kind of doing things her own way. And I feel like that's what you guys are really inhabiting, inhabiting, inhibiting <laughs> with this energy, just kind of being yourself and allowing this floral energy to come through. So I feel like this is definitely what you're working on right at this moment and what is to come for your energy. So that is really, really beautiful. I love that. So let's see what else we have here. We have the Six of Pentacles the five of pentacles so a lot to do with your money and kind of moving on up i'm hearing the song moving on up moving on down really lovely so beautiful okay i freaking love this this is so lovely there's so much like journeying and it's interesting because when i'm filming this we are still kind of um kind of there's a lot of stuff going around the world still like kind of restriction i do feel like you guys are feeling restricted but you're excited for the future. I feel like obviously that's for not for everyone. I know a lot of you guys are feeling kind of a bit worried about the future, but this feels like you shouldn't worry. Like you don't have to worry. It's like, I kind of like I'm hearing like, what are you worrying about? Which is so interesting because obviously on the earth right now, it's a really confusing time. But I feel like all these pentacles that like we have six, five, four, eight. So we literally have a lot, quite a few pentacles. And then we have the queen of wands, like she's the leader. So what this is saying is you're the leader of your own life. And obviously if you are a very sensitive person, it can be hard to constantly put yourself forward, especially if you are more of an introvert, but also if you're sensitive to the energies, you know, if you're somebody who is extremely sensitive to things like that, it can be really hard to just kind of be out there and, and letting your energy kind of lead you. Because obviously if you are a very sensitive person, we do need our own space. It's just saying like, go for it. Whatever this situation is, go for it. Um, I feel like you guys are starting to come out of your comfort zone. The Five of Pentacles is all about kind of feeling restricted. So I do feel like you are struggling with your comfort zone right now. You're kind of like, I just want to expand. I just want to express myself. The Queen of Wands is saying you can express yourself at any level. Even if you're restricted in one place, you can be so expressive in many different ways. And obviously there is limited ways, but I do feel like there's a chance for you to really just, yeah, fully express yourself. And the Four of Pentacles is lovely. It does feel like hardship but I'm not getting I'm not really getting any sad energy from this I mean she has her her hands just over just over her neck so it can feel like restriction it can feel like you are just not feeling safe so I feel like you're working on safety you're working on security a lot of you guys could be dealing with some money problems some money issues the eight of pentacles is saying that everything will work out everything will come to fruition and there's this new pathway and it looks kind of tight it looks like a restrictive pathway but it's only because it's unknown when we go through these columns when you come out the other side it's going to be like you're going to blossom so at the moment obviously the energy that i'm kind of filming this at the moment is very restrictive it feels very narrow that is the energy that you guys are kind of working through at the moment obviously whenever you find this you may just be still going through that sort of energy whether it's internal or external it feels as if 
you can, as long as you can be content in your mind, everything is different. So if we can change our, percep our perception in our mind, we can literally change our whole life. So sometimes it can really help to do positive affirmations, to meditate, to do different things. Like don't be afraid to be yourself. That's what I'm hearing. Because the more we restrict ourselves within our mind and having to be perfect and have to be a certain person, we are not being authentic to our path. We're not able to actually fully expand our energy. Like I'm seeing you taking up space. That's like a really, really big message for this group. And this is definitely what you're doing. And it's kind of like, you always leave this path behind wherever you go and you don't always realize, you don't always realize you're actually inspiring people, even though you feel quite restricted and you may be very sensitive to the moon's energy and things like that. I just feel like you are definitely working with, like I want to be seen, but I also want to be hidden, you know? And I feel like for some of you guys, you could feel like your brain is very scattered, like you have a lot to think about. Maybe you have children to kind of consider in terms of money, um, in terms of like feeding them and putting a roof over their head, that sort of thing. I just feel like you are definitely a really good manifester. I feel like you're somebody who can definitely manifest more than what you think you can. And I feel like you definitely have struggled with money for, in your childhood, in your past, or right now currently. And I feel like what it's saying is to take a different pathway. And this could be various different things. This can, this can literally be starting meditation. Maybe that's something you need to see a different perspective or talking to somebody or actually acknowledging that you do leave behind and you will leave behind this, this lovely um, kind of essence when you when you leave this earth you know you will leave that behind and you are definitely somebody who is meant to be on this planet especially if you have definitely been debating that you are meant to be on this planet you are definitely meant to be here and I feel like your imagination is something that you should really use more because you're very creative I feel like a lot of you guys are Pisces or you have Pisces quite strongly in your chart or in your 12th house a lot to do with imagination you know karma past lives things like that like this is something that is really important for you to explore and I do feel like the need for you to <clears throat> excuse me bring in different elements into your life so like copper or um, stone or marble um, and work with those, whether it be making furniture or buying furniture or buying like one crystal just to help you keep grounded in your, in your mind because you guys are in your head a lot. Um, but I just feel like reach out for help if you need it. I feel like it's, it's really, really important. All right, that was like a really nice message. I like that. Okay, so let's get the rest of your cards. Let's get your Oracle cards. So the first card we have here is yes, just say yes. Boom, exactly. I love how it's literally directed like right at my crystal ball here. I love her, she's my baby. Um, whoop, <laughs> I love that. Beautiful, like direction. You guys, I feel like, some of you guys, I feel like I'm rolling your eyes at this because you're like, that's never gonna happen. I'm never gonna be able to manifest what I want. You know, so I know you guys are feeling quite down at the moment, but I definitely see like a different perspective because we have perception here. And once you change your perspective on this perception, because there may be like quite a bit of like deception going on, um, maybe in your life or externally. And it's kind of like when, as, as myself, as a photographer, like you can manipulate photos so well. Like even if you're a model on Instagram or if you take quite a few frequent photos, like you know you can manipulate a photo to look different. And that's only what you change in it. If you don't change anything, it will be exactly as it as you took it. So it's up to you what you want to do to change this. You know, it's your path. It's your decision. And I feel like your immediate future right now, you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Um, this is also showing me that you guys can take your own path. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't be scared of speaking your truth as well. Um, don't be scared of making moves, making art, making just anything that's just fully yours. You know, and if it's something that's, a lot of the time we are actually scared of being ourselves because we're scared of the rejection or we're scared of what's going to come with it and I don't feel like there's anything really to worry about you know I think as well when I see Taurus and Libra Libra is a very aesthetically pleasing sign you know they like aesthetically pleasing things and Taurus is very is quite um materialistic and Libra can be quite materialistic too and not in a way of like hoarding or anything like that even though that may be something you guys have worked with but I feel like it's actually about appreciating things um, at a deeper level. Tauruses are really good at picking out like ideas and um, things that other people wouldn't really notice. They're very detail orientated. So for you guys, I feel like it's important to see the details of you and how amazing you are and that you can do this. And whatever it is, stepping into your power is gonna make you feel so much better about yourself. And I just feel like making art, my heart chakra is really expanding in this, in this group. I just feel like you guys wanna make art. And it could even be like graffiti or something where <clears throat> you're fully just, expressing that and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and step out of the norm 
okay guys i do also feel like you guys are like very hippie like um very witchy very hippie um but just like spiritual in your own way you know and i just feel like you should be really proud of your your um progress as well how far you've come because you've gone through so many different phases i do feel like you may meet a taurus or a libra through social media uh, or kind of on a dating site, something like that, because the third house is about communication. Uh, you may have somebody kind of hitting you up from your past, something like that. I mean, at the moment of filming this, I, it is um, Mercury retrograde. So this is all about kind of like dating and things like that. So very nice. I really like this, guys. And let people support you as well. They're there to support you. And if they're not, then maybe decide to whether remove them from your life or maybe to think this is the right connection for you to be in. Okay, so you guys are amazing. You guys have such a lovely soul. I do feel like also you're going to manifest a lovely group of friends that are supportive, but I feel like you're going to manifest them once you find your support within yourself, once you can really kind of give yourself that boost, you know? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you would like to get a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store, all the information is down below. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what your immediate future is. Uh, this video, as I say, is timeless. So whenever you have come across this video, then I hope it helps you and I hope it guides you. So let's start off with your tarot. Normally I don't start off with tarot, but I'm kind of wanting to do things new this time around. So let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys. Let's see what is coming up for you. Okay, we have the nine of swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Ooh, my throat chakra and my heart is really going for it with this reading. Ooh, look at this. Damn girl, look at all those rainbows. That makes me very happy. I love that. It's so interesting because I was looking at getting a singing bowl and one of the singing bowls looked a bit like that without the kind of bit at the bottom. It was very kind of um, almost like aura quartz. It was really, really pretty. Ooh, okay, so we have the Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. You guys are like progressing really nicely. I'm seeing like things just synchronistically coming into place. Okay, so I feel like what I'm hearing is you're forging your own path, especially with the Six of Cups. I see like you're, you're making your own path for yourself. Um, I see that you have lots of different options, but right now, because things feel very restrictive, you are definitely struggling to find that path, find that start for yourself. And I do feel with this nine of swords is you may have people kind of coming at you or you may feel very much like it's up to you or nothing, you know? And what I'm hearing is just to let yourself, like free yourself from this restriction and know that if you take just one slight different move, I feel like things can change for you. I'm getting like a massive clump of money coming in and it, it giving you a boost forward. Maybe you guys have really been suffering with money or income. I'm seeing with a pyrite here. Pyrite's a really beautiful crystal for money. I um, I love that. So for you guys, I'm really picking up that it's important for you to express this new version of yourself right now and not wait for it to come. So how can they do that? Tell me how can they do that? I think it's also like doing the work like doing the the internal work if you're already doing the internal work you're you know that's fine guys obviously you take this as it resonates um but i feel like just being really gentle with yourself you know i feel like you guys are very very self-aware i think you guys know the kind of trapped energy that you feel right now that is it's very present you know kind of possibly what's causing it or kind of what's happening i feel like it's allowing yourself to have more choice like within the restrictions how can you change this energy how can you switch it up? So say if you go for a walk every day, can you walk somewhere different? Things like that. Like with the Nine of Swords, it's kind of like I have no other option, you know, but there is definitely an option, you know, and I feel like with the Nine of Swords, you guys are going through a really deep emotional healing with that moon because she's holding that moon really close to her, her energy. So there's definitely an essence of working with your heart chakra as well. And this, I'm getting really hot as I said that. Oof. And the Seven of Cups is like, which one do you want to choose? So there's lots of different ways we can go about this type of energy when we kind of feel restricted. We can kind of go internal, kind of feel really stressed and anxious. And that's fine, you know, every, every emotion is sacred, every emotion is meant to be felt. 
or we can kind of go into the more expressive, happy energy. And I think what's what, with the energies at the moment, you know, they're very random, they're very up and down. And if you're a sensitive, you're gonna pick up on that. So remember if you guys are extremely empathic, a star seed, you know, whoever you kind of uh, associate yourself with, remember that you guys are gonna feel the collective energy. So remember if you start to feel overwhelmed, remember to clear yourself. Um, say I release any energy that's no longer mine, thank you. Uh, cleanse yourself of like sage or um, incense. You know, at the time of filming this reading, I'm having to cleanse myself every single day with incense, which I should do normally anyway. It's kind of a really good practice to have, especially if you are doing the sort of this kind of work, any sort of healing or any sort of mediumship. Um, it's super important. With the Six of Cups, I feel like you guys need to let go of somebody who's not going to be in your life anymore this feels like somebody may leave your life but don't be what don't be afraid of who this is if they're meant to go they'll go and I do feel like it's somebody who doesn't appreciate you it's almost like you have these five cups here that you are really loving like a really lovely group of people who are st sticking by you and somebody's just kind of walking away and I feel like it's just letting them go because if they want to walk away you can't stop them you know and I think you want to start to feel much more comfortable when when you've settled into this new energy I think this is a little bit of a slower process in terms of your immediate future, you may be in either one of these stages. I feel like a lot of you guys are about here, where you're trying to make a choice as to what you want to do. And I don't feel like this choice has to be big. You know, it could literally be like you start running every day or you have a different eating routine that you do. Like maybe you aren't eating three meals a day. Maybe it's two big meals to like change up your diet or maybe you're going vegan or something like that. Maybe that's a huge change, but it's just one shift that shifts everything, you know? And knowing that you do actually have an impact on this earth is what I'm hearing. The Ace of Swords is also a massive big download, like a really big idea that's coming towards you. And the Roses is like, oh, like massive amount of growth, you know, like everything is starting to grow. This feels like springtime. And obviously, depending on where you are in the world, this would be around, uh, this basically when the weather starts picking up. So depending on when you're watching this, I just feel like there's new energy coming in, like spring-like energy, like new, you know when like lambs are born around the springtime and like new animals are born, that is this energy, like rebirth. It feels really, really lovely. I love this. Just completely like explosion. I'm hearing the song Explosion by Ellie Golding, and it just feels like, yeah, like I got through that, you know? It's gonna be a little bit of a slow process for you guys, but I think it just depends on where you're at. You know, I think it kind of comes in waves and droves, you know, but this this is really lovely. I love this energy, it's really beautiful. I just love the roses. I just think <clears throat> it's kind of like when you have like an old abbey or an old kind of castle or anything like that. If you leave it on its own, nature will kind of take over. So what I'm feeling is it's kind of like, if you allow yourself to just be in this energy and acknowledge your emotions, like say, yeah, you know, I'm sad, I'm sad, you know, that's it. Or, you know, I'm really happy, I'm gonna revel in it. Things like that. Or if you're annoyed about being single or if you're annoyed about having no friends, just be in it, just say, you know what, I'm bloody annoyed <laughs> I feel like I sound so British when I say that but because I am <laughs> but it's like I'm just so annoyed you know just literally be in it you know and do what you need to do to work through it like throw some pillows scream cry laugh do like to have a guest distraction you know or, or work you know maybe a distraction would help you but that's what I'm feeling is like if you acknowledge this emotion instead of pushing it away one of these is going to present themselves to you and I do feel like somebody may leave your life as well because you're becoming more authentic yourself authentically yourself and I do feel like some of you guys may be um I'm hearing like so many messages around organic food, like moving to a more uh, moving to a place where there's more organic food being sold, or um, eating stuff that's more organic, or being just more conscious of what you're putting in your body in terms of food. I just see like you're wanting to take more charge of your diet, and this can be an extremely big thing to do. You know, not everyone can do that, and it takes a lot of mental strength, especially if you if you're addicted to sugar, or if you have don't even realize you're addicted to sugar, something like that. All right, so let's have a look what you guys have coming in. You have the awakening, literally, so true. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration, literally. You guys are literally going for a new way of being. That's beautiful. North Node Destiny, I love this card, it's so pretty. It's literally like, oh yes, I love it, I just love it. Okay, I was literally thinking like my Venus sign is like thriving right now with that card, I just love it. And then we have Venus, that's so cool. Okay, so we have Sextile Opportunity, we have Venus Love, North Node, and we have The Awakening. Ooh, okay, okay, right. So this North Node is you are, I'm hearing you are a lover, whether you have a partner or not, okay? You were born through love, you know, and whether you, however you were born or however you came into this, uh, came into this world, 
I, you're meant to be here for a reason, okay? And you are pure love. Pure love is unconditional. There is no conditions to it. This is where you're heading. And I feel like what, what's happened in the past is people have de degraded you or told you you weren't good enough or told you to be quiet because you had all these lovely attributes to yourself. And because they're different, people really hurt you because of that. You guys are definitely going through a, long, a really steep learning curve right now. And the best thing for you to do right now is work on your creativity. Um, collaborate with people, talk to people, communicate with your community, communicate with friends. You know, even if it's just something that is just a boring old conversation about the weather, you know, uh, it's kind of like exchanging energy is gonna be really good for you. A lot of you guys are gonna be manifesting a new relationship. And I do feel like because you're becoming in this, into this new way of being, you're gonna manifest somebody who's also doing the same. And it's gonna open these new doorways or windows um, to this new energy. I don't know if this is classed as a window or a door, but it feels like there is just open energy coming towards you. And it may take a little bit of time, but I feel like you guys are definitely on the right path. You know, your, your destiny is about you awakening the collective and also awakening yourself. And you may be going through like a really big soul journey where sometimes you literally feel like you're coming out your body. So remember guys, it's so, so, so important to ground yourself, get out in nature. Like if you feel like you're really exiting the, the earth right now, it may just be you have to get into your body more, okay? This can be dancing, this can be, um, there's lots of different techniques you can use. You can use like EFT where you like tap your, um, parts of your body there's also what's the other one the, ha the havening technique where you rub your arms google ha havening technique if you feel like there's a bit of trauma there whenever this trauma comes up the havening technique is a really good thing to do as soon as because because it, especially if it's like in your subconscious and it's coming out into the conscious and you're like oh this is scary work with that energy as it comes through because the best thing you can do is not push it down um and it will, it will bring in more balanced romance and balanced love for you as well and balanced um relationships your your destiny is to be a lover as well is to be a um, mother a father um it doesn't even have to be able to have children it's like the mothering energy of the collective or mothering energy of your group your friendship group or even like your soul family like you may be the leader of that group it's just a really lovely like collective community like yummy love energy i really love it it's just so it's so cancerian and pretty i just i really love it it's just so warm and beautiful and especially with this new way of being that's literally like aquarius age like through and through Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading or want to check out my crystal store, all the information is down below. I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got the beautiful tourmalated quartz. This is black tourmaline with clear quartz, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely beautiful energy for shadow integration and things like that. Let's get started. I don't know what that was. Okay, <laughs> right. Let's start off with your tarot. Let's do that first. Okay, so let's go. So your immediate future, the two of cups. I mean, yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited. I need to just take a moment <laughs> because I feel like this is so synchronistic because I've literally been looking at singing bowls and I just love the fact that the interpretation, because I haven't actually used these cards yet. So I've been really drawn to singing bowls recently and the fact that she's holding a singing bowl to her cup, like that is so synchronistic. And this beautiful, beautiful um, surroundings here, absolutely amazing. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Right, so I, I'm seeing some of you guys um, doing Zoom calls and specifically I'm getting drawn to like headphones with a microphone on it. And I don't know why I'm getting drawn to that. Like I'm seeing you doing like, um, like a really important Skype Zoom call with somebody where you're like your voice is really clear, kind of like how my voice sounds like in the microphone now, because I have a microphone attached to my camera. I feel like that's something that you're, I don't know, you're talking to somebody and it's like super important. It feels like you're, you're just talking to an important person as well. That's what I'm picking up on. Ooh, two of wands, okay. I've had a lot of synchronistic numbers in this, in this uh, reading today. I've had a lot of like one, two, three or things like that. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Cups, we have these Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, that have, have been happening a lot, okay, <laughs> all right, let's have a look, you're definitely going on an adventure, definitely, you guys are definitely manifesting a relationship, this is really unexpected, like, I'm actually hearing this is extremely unexpected, like, I wasn't expecting this, funnily enough, I've also been connected with snakes as well, this is just extremely synchronistic, I feel like all the images here are exactly the energy that I'm picking up and it feels like it feels like this is meant to 
this is meant to happen. And I feel like with this, this card here, with the snake, it's kind of like number two as well here, like the two snakes, the two people, like you are not gonna expect this person to come in. So if you are already partnered, I'm gonna say that it's gonna be to do with your partnership, um, kind of joining more together, like you're understanding um, each other's love languages more, you may have had an argument and it's kind of resolved itself. I do feel like this is also, could be to do with, okay, can you tell me what it is? I just literally forgot it. Ugh, Mercury retrograde, what I'm going through right now. Uh, a friend, it could be a friend coming in. It could also be literally a romantic partnership. Yeah, because you're, oh, right, you you found yourself and then you found your person through something, through something. Okay, that's really amazing, I love this. So I'm just gonna have a little clarify and I'm gonna see how you guys are meeting this person because I feel like it doesn't really matter. They're saying it doesn't really matter but I wanna have a look into it just for the sake of, whoops, that fell, there we go. Okay, so we have Neptune, we have a Scorpio, and we have the fourth house. Okay, so I'm gonna say this is through some sort of spiritual app uh, or through some sort of spiritual transformation. So internal, so Neptune is the 12th house, it is Pisces, it's all about closure, healing, spirituality, ending, uh, what's hidden, subconscious, and literally like the Scorpio energy is about rebirth and the fourth house is about the home. So you could be literally going through a rebirth at home um, and then this is what shifts it. So it's almost like you actually don't have to do anything. Like this feels like it's meant to happen. It may be you go on a certain app and that's how you meet them as well. But I do feel like get drawn to an app naturally guys. I don't feel the need to like force it if you feel like, you know, like I've said it, it's like, oh, okay, I have to go on an app. Like do it if you're drawn to it. You don't, you, you will still meet this person if you don't go on that app because it's, it's what you're meant to do. So the two of wands is also about you expanding your knowledge about something. So you could be learning something new. This is also you meeting somebody from abroad, from a different state, even literally like down your road, something like that. And the Knight of Cups is somebody coming in ready to give you this new adventure. And the Six of Wands is like, whoa. Like I feel like it's actually a really good energy, the Six of Wands. The Six and the Seven of Wands, I don't feel like are normally that good cards. But this time around, it's like this person's bringing you out of the conflict that you've been feeling. They're gonna confirm this is meant to happen, okay? So this is definitely to do with a certain person. Um, the Knight of Cups is also a, a brand new partnership of some kind, whether it be a work partnership, um, love life, it depends on what your, what your situation is. Um, but the Knight of Cups is like this person's journey through, have, has journeyed through so many levels. They've gone through physical, um, things, they've gone through mental things, spiritual things, they have gone through so many things. They may have also have traveled a lot as well and they may have had like a really confusing or hard life and they're ready to, to meet with you. Like it's almost like this person is coming into, like you're just sitting there waiting thinking oh nothing's happening and they're literally on their way to you right now. It's kind of like when somebody comes to your house and they say if you're gonna meet up with a friend and they're gonna come to your house and they say oh I'm, I'm like five minutes away, okay so like Basically this person's on their way, but you don't know like where they are. So obviously if you're not in the car with them on their way to your house, you don't actually know where they are. So as, all the time that you're in this space right now, you may think, oh, nothing's going on, especially if you're at home um, and kind of in your like energy and it's kind of repeating itself. I feel like what's happening is you guys have been in like a wash cycle for so long, going round and round and round and never actually, um, it's kind of, yeah, like a wash cycle, like with a washing machine. If it never actually clears the water, you're just recycling old water and you're literally cleansing yourself but never releasing anything. So what I'm, what I'm basically saying is like, if you, your energy's been going round and round and round a lot, and maybe now you've suddenly come into this massive transformation and released a lot of energy that no longer needs to be there. And this clean slate is here, like it's fully here. And I feel like you're now very discerning about who you let into your energy and who you wanna spend your time with. And I'm also hearing, this is so random, but I'm hearing that little tune from Frozen 2 where it's like, she's like going, ah, oh, like that. <laughs> it's, oh, they're showing me like where she's being led to. So she's being led to that song. Like the song is like her soul calling. That's where you're going. That is so interesting. And I'm seeing like a lot of twin representing re representation as well. So you may be watching a lot of things with twins in. Um, you may be being drawn to like both parts of you. So there might be like, you may have kind of um, lived from one side of yourself for quite a long time, maybe like the feminine or the masculine, and now you're switching and you're getting more 
kind of understanding of the other side of you. So say if you're more of a feminine and you have kind of been in a more kind of energy of like, okay, I have to do what everyone wants me to do, more like passive. Now you become much more empowered as a feminine and you're working more on your masculine where you can now take that into action, move it forward, take an opportunity or allow yourself to be seen more. This feels lovely. This feels like I've got to do this. I've got to do this for myself. And I don't know what this thing is, but it feels like you're taking a leap of faith. And it doesn't even feel like a leap of faith because it's meant to happen. It's meant to be a good situation, especially this energy of the snake. It's like, yeah, things are starting to come together. Um, I'm just hearing cobra, just the word cobra. Some of you guys may have a snake tattoo or something like that. You maybe have been seeing a lot of snake symbolism, things like that. All right, let's get your oracle cards. Let's see what you guys have. Oops. So the main energy we have is the sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, and mystic teacher. So this is you finding your soul tribe, finding people who really resonate with you. Get grounded, empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Definitely. Wow, yeah, ninth house makes so much sense. I definitely see somebody coming in from abroad. They could be a Sagittarius as well. Okay, you guys have gone through quite a complex uh, time recently and your immediate future is saying that things are really starting to change now. Like things that have irritated you are coming into like alignment. Things are starting to match up. Things are starting to come together. And it may not actually seem like it. You might be thinking, my life is so boring and so simple right now, but this is what's happening underneath the surface. Like this is what's actually going on. And with the ninth house, as I say, you could be learning something, you could be traveling, um, obviously within the restrictions that we can, but also I feel like there's something you're learning about. I don't know. It feels like your, your brain is like expanding. Like you're like, you're able to see things much more clearer. And what I'm feeling also is that when we're in a state of observing, we can, we can kind of allow people to come in <clears throat> without judgment. So it's kind of like when we're in a, when we're in a place of kind of unhappiness, we, we tend to judge other people more or judge ourselves. But because you guys are starting to allow yourself to be who you are, you're allowing others to be who they are too. So you're naturally going to draw some lovely connections to yourself. And get grounded is so important. Like you guys are, could be a teacher. Um, like you could say, call yourself like a mystic. Um, but this is actually, <clears throat> the more you're coming into your power, the more you're drawing in people that are of your wavelength. And the Saturn is all about wisdom. You guys are extremely wise, but not taking the Saturn energy as something negative. Like normally I see Saturn as quite like a dense, intense energy. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like I'm gonna freaking discover what this is and I'm gonna find myself. And this feels like the right at the end of a Saturn return, or it could be you guys are going for a Saturn return as well. A lot of people are at the time of me filming this uh, video with my private readings and things. So many people have been going through Saturn returns or are going through Saturn returns in the year of filming this. And especially with the responsibility, like you guys have been tested so freaking much. Like your patience has been tested to the freaking limit. And you guys have definitely learned self-control. You've learned to set your boundaries. You've learned to ground yourself. Like Saturn is really about grounding. It's ruled by Capricorn, I'm pretty sure. So Capricorn can be quite stubborn. It's very disciplined. It's also, it, it likes to have things... Um, like, it likes structure as well. So a lot of the time we can't always have structure. So what's really important is you guys are building actually like a new structure for yourself. It may be that you have been through like with it, you've been through it with your family and now it's time to maybe go out on your own. Maybe you want to start a new business. It's something like changing the structure of your life to suit yourself much better, much nicer. And it could be you're connecting with somebody from abroad. Um, there's something else as well. I see you guys traveling and I know obviously when I'm filming this video, it's kind of hard to travel, but maybe the at the time of watching this, there may be some sort of travel available or coming for you in the future. It just feels like I'm seeing you like really allowing yourself to travel without the fear of anything going wrong. Because obviously some of you guys, I know are, not everyone likes traveling. Sometimes that can be very stressful for some people and I see you guys you're not feeling like that anymore and you're not feeling anxious you're just like I got this you know I got this I want this and I'm going to take it some of you guys maybe may even be getting pregnant or maybe seeing like a new partner coming into your life and it changes your life and maybe there's a new baby coming in as well this is definitely a planned pregnancy by the guys it's not kind of like a pregnancy that's a surprise so just take that as it resonates um you guys may also be bringing in new friendships into your sphere as well. It just feels like you are doing really well, like you're doing really well. And I'm seeing maximum like five days for a lot of these things, a lot of these things to come into fruition. 
Okay, so thank you so much for watching guys. Also here the last thing as well as you may be starting yoga or you may be really connecting with um, the deity of Buddha as well, like really connecting with her or him. I'm not sure what gender Buddha is. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store, all the information is down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number four. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful smoky quartz. I'm obsessed with this. I really like doing this with it. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Okay, so let's see what we guys have for you. So we have the Queen of Cups. It's really cool because one of the groups started off with the Queen of Wands. So that's a really beautiful energy. You guys straight away could be a water sign. Um, you could be somebody who's kind of going through quite a big emotional turnaround. I'm hearing not so much like transformation, but turnaround. I like, I feel like with this group, I prefer the word turnaround. It's kind of like, it's not like you're going through... I don't know, it kind of, I don't know, if, I feel like it puts like a negative swing on it. I feel like this is something you're meant to go through. Even if you are feeling like things are feeling really heavy, this is meant to happen. Okay, we have a lot of spacey kind of energy with this group, um, but a lot of water in this card. So we have the Nine of Wands, Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles and the Fall. This is all about you guys building yourself up to a new version of yourself. The Nine of Wands feels like you're feeling really connected with the universe and... With the Eight of Cups, you're on a journey towards fulfillment. And the Ten of Pentacles is lovely. The Ten of Pentacles is like, I feel good. I feel free. So this is very much like an up and down energy. Depending on where you are in this in this uh, kind of line of cards here, the Queen of Cups is really just being strong and empowered within your feminine uh, emotional energy. So obviously, uh, masking energy is emotional too. But I feel like it's about feminine power and it doesn't, you don't have to be a female to obviously be in that category. I just feel like you're able to really express your emotions. That's what I'm picking up on. Like you're really able to be emotional and expressive. And I feel like if you're struggling to do that at the moment, this is saying to find an outlet to express your emotions. And this can be needing to meditate, dance. Uh, talk to a friend, speak it out, get some counselling, have some therapy. Um, and therapy doesn't always have to be talking therapy. You could get Reiki, you could get energy healing. Um, I'm, I'm seeing like um, someone lying on a bed and someone tweaking their energy just by doing this over their body. So it could be Reiki, it could be uh, craniosacral therapy, where you don't actually touch the body, you just kind of heal over it. It could be like crystal healing, literally anything like that. Um, I feel like you could have, and you can even have that online if you're not able to actually see somebody in person. I know a lot of people do that online. Uh, so maybe ask that if, if, if you want to get that done by someone. So the Ten of Pentacles is like completion. Then we have the Fall. I love this. This is just like tarot porn to me. like <laughs> um, Because we then have the Ten, then we have the Zero. So the Fall is like a brand new version of yourself and you've transformed. Like you've come out of this transformation. This is kind of like the old you leaving your body. And now you're this new person. So you're taking your new new version of yourself out for a test drive. It's kind of like when you drive a car for the first time, you're like, well, I know that this is a car and I know that I'm driving, but I need to figure out where everything is. It's just slightly different, you know? So especially if you've been driving for a while, even, even when you step into a new car, it's still new. It's still having to get used to it. You know how the brakes are, things like that. So it's kind of like you are still that same person. You may look slightly different if you change your image or even if you've gone through a spiritual transformation, you could look a bit different. It just feels like I know who I am, but this is definitely a new version of myself and having to be patient with who I am. I feel like this is a very emotional time, but I do feel like you guys, there's a, I'm feeling like a nice big sustenance underneath this energy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like loads of healing, like I'm hearing healing and it feels like things are re, re, rejuvenating, reinventing themselves and you feel much more free. A lot of you guys are star seeds. I'm getting a lot of star seedy kind of energy from this group like there's a girl she's running and she's becoming more free this is definitely you guys you could be good doing some astral travel um i feel like you somebody may be talking to you from a different country and you're learning about their culture something like that i just feel like i see like a new portal coming through and you may be really connected to aliens and intergalactic energies you could be really fascinated by all the things that are coming out at the moment uh, in terms of like news and things like that but don't believe everything you hear guys especially if it's in the media <laughs> um yeah I feel like it's just new energy I just feel like you'll be you're just accepting yourself for who you are maybe for such a long time you weren't able to ex accept your sensitivity because it was kind of like you know a burden 
and go, I feel you. I feel you, girl. I, I felt like that for me, for me before, you know. Um, but it's because you're different and you're not meant to blend in. You're meant to be this new person. You're, you're meant to guide the collective forward and guide others who are confused, you know. <clears throat> this feels really lovely, though. This feels like, you know what, things are a bit uncomfortable, but I'm going to sit with it. I'm going to accept myself. And I feel like you're going to find out something new about your life and, or about something that you're passionate about. Say if it's like something in astrology or maybe find out something about a friend that you talk to. This feels like good news. This feels like, oh, wow, I didn't see it in that way before. But I just, I'm obsessed with this card. This feels like very old, you know, very kind of like 50s. So I feel like you may be watching something from the 50s or something like an old kind of a style show. Um, maybe Bridgerton or something. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. Or Downton Abbey. I don't freaking know. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at your oracle cards. Alrighty, let's have a look at your cards. So we have deep replenishment, deep replenishment, retreat, rest to be held. And the fact we have like all this water, that makes so much sense. You guys have definitely got a lot of water in your chart. Or this is like the main element you're working with is water. So water is emotions, it's um, motherly, it's feminine. It's um, the home as well. It could be the fourth house too here. Feeling safe and feeling able to express yourself. You might be feeling really... Um, very sensitive at the moment emotionally okay so we also have um, Pisces here with the 12th house and we have Leo and Mercury so 12th house is to do with the subconscious the subconscious is connected to water as well it's very much that need to flow and water stores memory so I feel like it's something like that as well um, the Leo of the lover this is like I just want to express myself like I just want to be loud I just want to be free I just want to do all these things so for you guys you could be working through guilt and the need to feel like you can't stand in your power. Speaking your truth, you could have communication with a Leo. Um, this Leo person could be helping you to transform. They could be a therapist, they could be a counselor, could be a friend. Uh, it could even be somebody you work with, you know, somebody who helps you see, uh, see your life in a different way. I just feel like this is like fun. This feels like a fun energy that you're working through. And I feel like when you finally release um, any all this old karma, you're going to feel this creative energy of the Leo. And you're going to be able to really be like, okay, what's next for me? And you're going to start to feel much more clearer. Um, as I say, maybe, maybe learning something new, you're going to get lots of ideas. And um, there's an energy of like this flirtatious, self-confident energy as well. Like you're feeling like you can just be this expanding open energy and not to restrict yourself so especially if you're a fixed sign you may struggle with change so I feel like that's something you're working with too is like oh wow I didn't realize that the world would be in this state or I would be in this state and that's okay we're allowed to be we're allowed to change but finding the safety in that change is super 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 important um deep replenishment re retreat rest be held exactly like when you need to retreat go for it like if you need some time away go for it if you need some space to just be yourself, go for it. You know, don't allow other people to make you feel guilty for taking time away, taking time for yourself. Even if it's just 10 minutes a day, you know, even a friggin' week if you can. I feel like there's a time and a space for really being in your emotions. And I think there's a part of you that needs to be listened to. Especially if it's your subconscious, it might be your inner child that just wants to be held and be, to be spoken to. This is definitely a really big part of you that's being being asked to be like and noticed, you know. Um, and it might be that you've been felt like restricted for so long in your life that you've kind of forgotten that there is a playful side of you. There is a childlike energy that you can be yourself. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon.